All right, now before we talk about the next film from Jed Apatow, um, a new trailer was released this past week for Fantastic Beasts, The Secret of Dumbledore. The film follows Newt Scamander as he teams up with a young Albus Dumbledore to combat a growing anti-muggle fringe wizard organization. Now, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm a diehard, fairly diehard Harry Potter fan. And when I was younger, back when the movies were still coming out in theaters, like, I would really anticipate like, the release of the next Harry Potter film. I would, like, I would mark my calendar. I would count the days. You know, any time, like, just like a TV spot would come up on cable, <laughs> I'd, be, I would, I'd just lose my fucking mind. Like, I would just be so, so excited for the next one to come out. And all eight films, like, some are better than others, but it's a fairly consistent series of films, which is kind of impressive when you really think about it. Mm-hmm. That being said, you know, I'm not really looking forward to this next Fantastic Beast film. And it's kind of sad because I think about, like, you know, the joy that I had, you know, as a kid with the Harry Potter films. And that level of interest just isn't there for me. I mean, the first Fantastic Beast film was pretty good. And the second one, I'm going to be honest, is a bit of a mess. I remember liking it a bit more when I came out of the theater. But, like, as time has gone on, I'm like, yeah, it's kind of all over the place. I don't, I, I'm going to be honest, I barely remember it. Like, it just didn't stick the landing for me. Hmm. Yeah, I, I saw the first Fantastic Beast and I liked it and I enjoyed it. Uh, I still haven't seen the second one, so I know I'm going to have to see the second one before the third one. But um, from what I saw from the trailer, it interested me. I'm not, like, glamoring over it like, you know, a Batman trailer or the Black Adam, mm. you know, any of the comic book trailers, really. You know, that's for me. But, um, you know, it's... I think Fantastic Beast is just in an odd spot now, I think, as a franchise, mainly because of just the poor reception off the second one, as well mm. as some of the backlash, I guess, J.K. Rowling has been getting over the years as mm. well. So I guess maybe not a lot of people are as excited as possible. And on top of that, some of the stuff with the Johnny Depp situation behind the scenes and that whole yep. debacle. So I just, I think it's in an odd place because it's in more of a gray the reception i guess of this franchise is in more of a gray area and not necessarily out of excitement because of the drama that's happened behind the scenes and etc so uh i hope that changes let's see if people you know see the movie they like it and it's highly recommended and if not then uh no more harry potter fantastic beast movies (laughs) yeah you know, something else I noticed, too, was, of course, you have Jude Law playing a young Albus Dumbledore. And as much as I think he's an interesting pick, like, I'm curious to see how he does. Um, the movie, it, it's kind of weird. Like, this movie, I think, takes place in, like, the 1920s or 30s, right? And, you know, Dumbledore's looking like a, you know, like Jude Law. Like, he's looking good. Uh, <laughs> in the second Harry Potter film, there's, like, a flashback back to, like, the 1940s or 50s, right? and Dumbledore, and it shows Dumbledore looking pretty old. <laughs> so I just made, so I kind of saw this thing online, like what happened to Dumbledore in like these ten years where he's going from looking like Jude Law to how he looks in that flashback of the second Harry Potter movie. So I don't know, maybe maybe it's just, this is the thing that makes him age like a hundred years, like whatever happens in this movie. I don't know. <laughs> but how do you think Mads Mikkelsen is going to do as Grindelwald? He's the actor replacing Johnny Depp. And I'm gonna be honest, like I thought Johnny Depp would have been was an interesting pick. I think, you know, I thought he was a decent villain or he could play a decent villain. But obviously, you know, he had all this stuff happen behind the scenes, like you said. But I'm curious as far as like what do you think of Mads Mickelson? Uh, I like Mads Miss Mickelson as a character, and honestly, when I saw the trailer, I liked him in the role. Like he felt somewhat at least menacing, or you know, at least uh serious. So I kind of took him seriously. <laughs> so I, 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 I think it, it was, I, I like Matt Mc, 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 Mickelson as an actor. And so I think him and his role is interesting. I think he's going to do probably with what he's given a good job. So it's just going to mm-hmm. be a matter of wait and see. Cause again, it's like when I saw the trailer, I was like, oh, wow. All right. Matt looking good in this movie. And he's feeling kind of, eh. so it's like, you know, I'm interested. But again, Fantastic Beasts, Harry Potter franchise, I've never really been big on. But uh, I've always appreciated it. I like the films, and I've read the books. I like the books. But, um, you know, it's just, it's not my cup of tea, necessarily. Not the fantasy I like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's fair. That makes sense. And again, like, I, you know, maybe this is kind of an unfair comparison, too. But, like, I just don't feel the same connections to the Fantastic Beasts character and, like, you know, the world of this franchise 
as opposed to the Harry Potter franchise, right? But at the same time, like Harry Potter had a lot more time to develop both. Yeah. But if there's one character I do like in the Fantastic Beasts, it's um, Dan Fogler as Jacob Kowalski. He's kind of like the comic relief. He actually had a couple of like, you know, you know, he's had like a fair few like funny moments. I feel like if something were to happen to him, I'd be like, oh, no. But it's weird. Like, I, like I said, I just don't feel the same, you know, attachment. I, I really don't. So, I don't know, it's 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 kind of sad. It, yeah. But it's it's kind of what it is at this point. So, Fantastic Beasts 3 goes into theaters on April 15th. Lovely day to spend tax day this year. And for all you guys that are with us, how do, how do you think Fantastic Beasts 3 looks? Um, you know, are you kind of in, like, the same boat as me, where you're like, ah, it's not Harry Potter, you're only watching it because it's kind of related to where it is related to Harry Potter? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. 